Hello, I am Michele Patrini. I am a researcher at Fondazione Don Carlo Gnocchi, based in Milan, Italy, and I'm also a member of the Cochrane Habilitation Field. First of all, I would like to thank the editorial board for giving me the opportunity to present this Cochrane Review Summary with commentary titled Is Family Therapy Effective for People with Autism Spectrum Disorder and Their Families? We want to thank the authors of the original review previously published in the Cochrane Database of Systematic Reviews, and we want to thank the Cochrane Developmental, Psychological and Learning Problems Group for reviewing the content of this Cochrane Corner. This Cochrane Corner is produced by Cochrane Rehabilitation in agreement with Developmental Medicine and Child Neurology. People with Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASDs, frequently experience impairment in communication, difficulties or limitation in social interaction, uh, inability or difficulty in uh, establishing and maintaining meaningful relationships. They also present restrictive behaviors and interests. All these characteristics combined frequently lead to impairments in daily living skills and to the need of continuous support from family members. In their review, Family Therapy for Autism Spectrum Disorders, Spain and colleagues aim to assess whether intervention addressing these communication and relationship difficulties are effective for people with ASD and their families. Following the PICOF framework, the population addressed were families with at least one member with a diagnosis of ASD, and the authors included in the definition of family, relatives, cohabitants, non-professional carers, and significant others such as friends. The intervention studied was the family therapy, which is delivered in uh, several different modalities, like systematic, structural, strategic, family therapy, Milan approaches, solution-focused therapies, narrative therapy, and behavioral family therapy. The comparison included in the review were uh, no treatment, standard clinical care, waitlist control, and also active comparators such as applied behavioral analysis or cognitive behavioral therapy. The uh, primary outcome studied were quality or quantity of social interaction and communication, mental health morbidity, quality of life, and adverse events or effects. In January, 2017, the authors queried 13 major databases, free clinical trial registries, they hand searched the citation lists of uh, retrieved papers, they also contacted clinicians and other researchers to ask for further studies. The, this effort resulted in 37 papers, but none of them met the inclusion criteria, and the main reason was the study design. In fact, all these papers were non-randomized control trials, discussion papers, reviews, observational or qualitative papers. Review authors concluded that uncertainty remains around the effects of family therapy uh, in this clinical population. The therapy might still be considered useful either alone or in addition to other treatments, and the authors suggest that um, to decide upon the use of family therapy, multidisciplinary professionals should be consulted and the best practice guidance should be followed. Autism spectrum disorder is a lifelong disabling condition. While no cure exists, several therapies, including psychological, physical, and occupational therapies, are available for patients or for their families to ease the impact of the disorder. The common goal shared by professionals treating people with ASD is to uh, allow them to achieve higher level of independence and a higher level of quality of life. Of course, social skills are fundamental to reach these goals, and the family, where these skills are first learned, is a context of keen importance. The high level of stress and the heavy caregiving burden felt by family members of people with autism spectrum disorder may negatively impact the relationship within the families. These strained relationships could consolidate or exacerbate challenges behaviors linked to autism spectrum disorders, with the risk of generating a vicious cycle. Family therapy targets specifically the relationships between family members, but the evidence on its effect are still scarce. Spain and colleagues couldn't find any methodologically robust paper to be included in the review, and to my knowledge, no other systematic review has been published to date. One non-systematic review has been published in 2012, and in that review, authors concluded that only tentative evidence exists for family therapy effects on enhancing relationships in families and strengthening families in general. Concluding, it is worth noting that the literature search for the Cochrane Systematic Review by Spain and colleagues is now four years old, and that the non-systematic review by Smith and colleagues was published nine years ago. 
The, the research landscape in such time frame might have changed significantly. An updated evidence synthesis product could help define the role of family therapy in the treatment of people with autism spectrum disorder. If you have any question or comment, please feel free to contact me. And with that, I thank you for your attention and for listening to this podcast.